Trying to identify the fastest performing gaming server uh, is what we do. That's probably our main claim to fame. It's what we've been doing for well over a decade. Uh, and then recently, uh, unfortunately, gaming is also a very key area environment where people like to make attacks. Primarily in the form of DDoS attacks, the distributed denial of service attacks, they're being hit very hard in the gaming space, so it can wreck their business model. And so we've been coming in and aggressively really done some very large deployments, hundreds of gigs, if not terabytes, of protection for DDoS mitigation and gaming platforms around the U.S. Networks only have a couple things that they really need. You need low latency, the ability to make an experience move very quickly, something we specialize in. You need to get high scale, both on network performance, so that you can get as much bandwidth as you can. We provide that low latency, and we provide that high performance bandwidth networking experience for every application we support. If you ask a server that's hosting gaming to not just do the gaming application environment, but you want it to decrypt the tunnels for encryption, if you want it to do various applications and protocols to load balance, if you ask it to mitigate threats, both web application firewall functionality or DDoS mitigation, and then on top of that, you want it to manage application translation, it simply doesn't work. Uh, they're just not built for that. You want the application server to support the application. That's the game. Low latency, high application throughput, that's what's really gonna matter. So when you talk about mitigating threats like DDoS, we do that. When you talk about things like mapping addresses, we have millions of people trying to get to the internet, we do that. And if you talk about things like balancing load between servers, you just want that server to get used as much as you can but not exceed what it's supposed to do so the gamers have great experiences. That's what we've been doing for over a decade. So in the gaming environment, when you add those things up, you're going to build a network based on A10 to make the best gaming platform you can and protect it from any security risks you might see coming forward.